When you're replacing the handle of a damaged sledgehammer, it really helps if you have a vise. That's why we're using it in this video. Just makes it extremely easy. The bit that he's using is one of the larger diameter ones because we want to remove as much material as quick as possible. Uh, and that's what he's demonstrating here. Just going around, getting all the wood out. The metal wedge is in there, but this is a, a bit that can drill both metal and wood. So remove as much material as you can. Uh, and then you can use a metal punch to get rid of any additional scrap material that's in there. And you want to totally clean out the inside of that hammerhead before you install the, the handle. You'll notice that the wedge that came out of the hammerhead is the original round wedge. And you can purchase these from places like Amazon or your local hardware store. And a lot of guys prefer the round versus the triangle ones because it makes it much more snug uh, than the ones that come with the handle that you'll see here. Uh, you've got the wood wedge and this handle actually comes with two metal wedges. And when you go to put these wedges in, you're going to drive the wood wedge in first, spread it open, and then you're going to drive the metal wedges perpendicular with the wood wedge. So if you've got two wedges, use them. Uh, most of the time, the handles that you get from places like White Cap or Ram Tool come with one, so just put that right in the middle perpendicular to that wood wedge that you drove in. When you go to actually install the handle into the sledge head, get it hand tight, drop it on the ground, snug it up, and then lift up, and you're actually going to hammer the opposite end of the handle, and it's going to drive itself into the sledge head. You can see how much of the wood has actually come up. Now you're ready to install the wedges. You're going to start again with the wood wedge, drive that all the way in, and then we're going to cut it flush with the sawzall and install the wedges. Uh, in this demonstration, we're going to use a round wedge. You'll notice that the triangle ones are next to it. So if you're using a round wedge, just put it right in the center, hammer it in. If you're using the triangle ones, again, perpendicular to the wood wedge and drive them both in. You can also soak the head overnight in boiled linseed oil. This is going to cause the handle to expand and get an even tighter fit into the head of that hammer. 